Joe was the best thing that ever happened to me. It's true. I wish your feeling was mutual. Liar. Oh, show some decorum, Tina, please. You weren't here, so I... If we could all stand and sing the final hymn, make me a channel of your peace. Let's sit down, I beg. No, I won't sit down. I want everyone to know. Tina, please. She is. She's a liar! And she should not be talking at my dad's funeral! And as I've just said, you weren't here. And where were you when he died, Gail? This is neither the time nor the place. Brian? She knows something and she's not staying! Shut up, Tina. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, at least I'm telling the truth. Oh, I suppose your dad was a saint, was it? Audrey. She's very upset. Upset? I'm livid. She's been covering up stuff about how my dad died. I've been doing no such thing. How dare you? So why do the police keep dragging you in for questioning? Shut your face, Tina. Just back it. Because she's talking rubbish. Oh, you always take her aside. Oh, yeah, duh. She is my mother. I bet she wishes you had aborted you. Tina! Cheeky little David, no, you don't. Get off me. Get off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Brody. Her name's Grace Brody. Do you understand me, Billy? She's not in a corner. She's got nothing to do with me. So this is it. You're gonna call me like you called Matty. My hero had got what was coming to him. I'm just sorry it wasn't me that whacked him. He's lying, Lenny. You called Matty. He even showed me the body, told me if I told anyone. He'd call Nicole and the baby. Let me tell you one of three things about your pal, Matty. He was just another useless wee bonehead. Born stupid, died a junkie. And the Billy Day had to do with his demise. He was doing me a favour. Right. Come on. Never realised. Well, I never admitted to myself. It's too late. Pauline's not my daughter. She's just got a wee life of her own now. And... <laughs> the only mother she knows <laughs> is my mother. Yes! No, what have you done, big fucking by shite Taking our tobacco? Nope. You think it's all over? It is now. Packed in? Yep. Just like that? Just like that. What? After 9,165 bodies? Exactamundo. 
are you going to do? I'm going to go and get pished. What about me? You can come and get pished away with me. You don't know how lucky you are. My dad died when I was younger than you. My mother was a raving alcoholic. You get everything you ever asked for. I don't want an argument with you, Jack. I get to do a job I fucking hate so I can look after my mother. You get sent to university and decide to piss it all away. You're not looking after your mother now. She's, she's off the drink and she's happy where she is. Well, she's fine and dandy then, isn't it? Meanwhile, I'm coming out of my twenties as fucked up as I was when I went into them. So, if you hate your job, do something about it. Somewhere you're going to turn left, turn right, it doesn't actually matter. Why did you do it, PT? Nobody hurts me. Nobody touches me unless I want them to. Do you want me to tell you what I think happened? Drink has taken over your life. You're usually on your own, but always desperate to join in, just to try and stop that loneliness. Then the latest in a long line of terrible things happens to you. You felt determined, and you decided you wouldn't take it anymore. You just wanted it to stop. Make him feel the way you'd felt. How many beatings have you taken in your life, PT? How many times have you wished you could kill someone? You followed Samuel Jardin. The latest in a long line of bullies that started with your father. Those months of pain came flooding through your body. It was Samuel Jardin lying on the floor, but it was your father you were hurting. And every other single person that's hurt you in your life. So you hit him, and you hit him again, and you couldn't stop.
Danny saw you. You looked at him and it was like looking in a mirror. You saw the fear in his eyes and you, you realized what you'd done.